Hey everyone, my name is Gamer Corey, and welcome back to another Red Dead Redemption 2 online video. Now, in this video, what I would like to be discussing today is the most re recent update that actually dropped today. Now, I do apologize for this being very late in the day, as I did work a little bit later than I anticipated today, and I didn't want to have to post it this late because I know a lot of other people have already been doing this but I do apologize for that. I can only get to things when I can actually get to them. Unfortunately, I do have a real job that requires me to work plenty of hours and I do help a lot of other people in the process. So anyway, let's go ahead and get into the kind of the guts of this video and that is the update that dropped today. Now, if you go over to the Newswire, I don't know if you guys actually check out the Rockstar Newswire at all, but I think it's actually pretty comical because when you guys first log into the Newswire, you have to physically look for something that even remotely looks new to even find out what the update is. Because even if you go over to Twitter and actually look at Rockstar, uh, I mean, it doesn't really even say uh, update. The only thing that you can really tell is that it, it dropped 11 hours ago. It's like the second or third thing down on Rockstar Twitter, and it's hard to kind of find the, on the newswire, to be completely honest with you guys. And if you really take a look at what is truly going on in this update, it's finally that the Xbox One players like myself get to participate in some of the things that the PS4 players have already been doing for quite some time. So... This isn't really an update. This is an update to say, uh, sorry, Xbox players, we don't care about you. And we care only about PS4 players because apparently that's all that matters around here, right? I mean, let's talk about fairness, right? I, I could talk about fairness all darn day if I wanted to. Uh, no, it's, I'm just kidding about that. I get that companies kind of are greedy and they only want to, uh, they, they, they do exclusivity rights um, when they do things like this, uh, hence why there's a big rumor, and I'm only going to say this little tidbit in this side of this, this video, why there's a huge rumor, and there's actually some viable proof that when the PS5 drops that Grand Theft Auto 6 will be exclusive for one month, and they've actually already made that known in Red Dead Online. Look at everything that has happened. Everything that's happened has been given a month Prior. So we already know that Sony is buying Rockstar with Red Dead Online. So we should know that that's going to be true in future games of theirs. So they're already Sony's already paying Rockstar a little bit of cash to give let their stuff be given to them, their their players a little bit earlier than normal. So that's kind of the first part of this update. So what do we actually get for the Xbox One users? Well, it's stuff that PS4 players probably don't really care about anymore, to be completely honest about. We got, uh, starting today, Red Dead Online Beta. It says in their newswire. It still says Beta out there, guys. Just got to throw that out there. Players on Xbox One. They have to make that very clear there. Players on Xbox One can compete in open target races where you race on horseback to take down all the targets scattered across an open space. In any order that you wish, Xbox players also get to pick up the jawbone knife from the fence, the double-breasted hat, uh, Hartman jacket, the snake-adorned diamondback hat, sleek cowhide Comstock boots, vest, gloves, plus three emotes, I'm hit, blow kiss, and point. These are all things that have been out on the PS4 for quite some time. There's nothing new, and I mean literally nothing new in this update. So two weeks in a row, there really hasn't been any type of update. I'm glad that we finally got the, the items that PS4 players have already been getting towards. But the reason that I'm actually kind of picking at this is because I truly do believe that Rockstar and Take-Two are in partnership with Sony. And this should be very apparent with all of the online um, updates and things that have happened. I mean, you got, from the very beginning, players were getting um, the high-stakes uh, revolver. They were getting the red um, Arabian horse. 
They were also getting a couple other things. I can't remember what they were exactly. But now, all, as the updates have come out, there's been a couple things that have only been exclusive on uh, uh, for PS4. So it's very apparent the direction that Rockstar and Sony are definitely going here. And that just tells me that that's even big time proof of what's to come in the future for Red Dead Online and honestly for future Rockstar game content like Grand Theft Auto 6. I really do think, and I will have a completely separate video, that this that Grand Theft Auto 6 is actually going to be dropping next year. So uh, I'll get into that in another video. Sorry that I brought up Grand Theft Auto in a Red Dead Online beta video. So what do we actually get this week? Well, we don't get 1.5. We only get 1.3 percent you know or 30 percent more so we're getting 1.3 everything that you get times it by 1.3 you get the 30 percent more right also this week coming may th and through may 6 so for a week everyone in red dead online beta can take advantage of the 30 percent bonus for red dead online money and gold great that's awesome how about experience points everybody's saying that money is really easy to get now because there's been so many methods showing how to actually make money. I mean, I'm glad that people are given the opportunity to, think, to actually get gold, but I'm a level 110 basically now. And this actually gameplay that you're watching is actually from today. I wanted to actually get some gameplay of the 30% more before I actually dropped the video as well. So I played a couple quick games. This is what kind of happened, what kind of went down. And yeah. I don't really need the experience points, to be completely honest with you guys. So I don't really care about experience points, but a lot of people in the community have been asking, how about double experience points or one and a half experience points on participating things? But Rockstar is truly not giving that up for whatever reason it might be. And I, I really think that pe they're trying to get the lower levels because if you watch my video from this morning uh, talking about the statistics behind where your current levels are at and how what the percentage of people are actually getting to level 10 and level 50 on both the PS4 and the Xbox it's very clear that they're trying to get people that they know that are lower levels that might want some of these neat items to buy gold or to basically play showdown they're getting people to stay on their game longer or they're forcing people to buy the gold that's associated with it so that they can make the purchases that they want to in Red Dead Online and then they'll be happy enough to stay around. But this to me is, it's a joke. It really is a joke. First of all, uh, I, you know, if, if games and companies really want to go exclusive, that's fine. Um, I get it. I really do understand the business concept behind it, but it really does suck if you're a loyal to the other party that, um, you know, that might be making consoles like, like Rockbox, for example. And I used to be a very, very, very faithful PS4 or PS owner. I had one, I had two, and I was actually going to buy the third installment. And uh, when it actually came out, there was a lot of issues with it. And I actually had a ton of friends at the time in real life that played Xbox and they all convinced me to play Xbox and I really hadn't looked back until now because there's a lot of games that are really kind of coming out recently like Red Dead Online that's getting some of these perks for having a PS4 or just a PlayStation in general. So I actually might be getting both because I'm kind of sick of not being able to participate in some of the content that's available or even games that are, that are out there personally. And especially with other rumors that I have heard and I've really kind of dug in deep with, I I think right now, I think Sony is kind of the direction that I might have to be going, even though I have a pretty loyal fan base on the Xbox One. And I do appreciate all of you guys in that. But unfortunately, things that are happening like today's update are reasons why I might have to play both. And it's going to kind of suck to play both because I'm, I'm going to pick one for each kind of game. And I might go like games that are not exclusive might be Xbox and ones that are going to be exclusive or have exclusive content for even a time period that I might believe would be a time period are ones that I actually might want to pick up on the um, PlayStation. If that makes if that makes sense to you guys. So 
You guys are going to definitely have to let me know what you guys think about this most recent update. It's a joke to me. And unfortunately, I never did tell you guys what you get the uh, online money and gold on. It's a land of opportunity missions. Uh, it's pretty much the same things that it's always been when it comes down to getting the money and the gold portion of everything. You get all free, lo free roam missions, free roam events, and all showdown modes, including gun rush. I love how they have to actually have to put including gun rush in there. Like we as players didn't know that that was part of all encompassing the showdown modes just kind of throwing that out there um but anyway let me know what you guys think about this most re recent update i told you guys that i feel like it's a complete joke it's basically just tiding over um players to a little bit longer and i really do feel like the big spring update is going to be dropping at the end of may and this is just their kind of option of one to get players to kind of stick around too it's to build up for the big release in spring because the people they want people to actually possibly have the money and the gold that's going to be associated with buying the things that they actually want to buy when that update does come out so i'm hoping that it's honestly the latter of the two and just because i would hope that rockstar really wants the community especially the red dead online players to be able to um have their voice heard when it kind of comes to you know not feeling like there's really good updates coming to red dead online which is really unfortunate to be completely honest so anyway that is all the time that i have for in today's video if you guys want to leave a comment down below that would be absolutely wonderful let me know what you guys think about it and also if you guys did enjoy this video of me just kind of chit-chatting about my true feelings about where red dead online is going then don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe down below. It would help me out a lot and is greatly appreciated. But until next time, YouTube, you guys keep doing what you're doing because you're already doing it. And you guys stay gaming.